Gross national happiness also known by the acronym, GNH, is a philosophy that guides the government of Bhutan. It includes an index which is used to measure the collective happiness and well-being of a population. Gross national happiness is instituted as the goal of the government of Bhutan in the Constitution of Bhutan, enacted on the 18th of July 2008. The term gross national happiness was coined in 1972 during an interview by a British journalist for the Financial Times at Bombay Airport when the then King of Bhutan, Jigme Singhi Wangchuk, said, "Gross national happiness is more important than gross national product." In 2011, the UN General Assembly passed resolution happiness, towards a holistic approach to development", urging member nations to follow the example of Bhutan and measure happiness and well-being and calling happiness a "...fundamental human goal". In 2012, Bhutan's Prime Minister Jigma Thinley and the Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon of the United Nations convened the high-level meeting, Well-Being and Happiness, defining a new economic paradigm to encourage the spread of Bhutan's GNH philosophy. At the high-level meeting, the first World Happiness Report was issued. Shortly after the high-level meeting, 20 March was declared to be International Day of Happiness by the UN in 2012 with Resolution 66-28. Bhutan's Prime Minister Tsering Tobge proclaimed a preference for focus on more concrete goals instead of promoting GNH when he took office, but subsequently has protected the GNH of his country and promoted the concept internationally. Other Bhutanese officials also promote the spread of GNH at the UN and internationally. <laughs> GNH defined GNH is distinguishable from gross domestic product by valuing collective happiness as the goal of governance, by emphasizing harmony with nature and traditional values as expressed in the nine domains of happiness and four pillars of GNH. The four pillars of GNHs are 1 sustainable and equitable socio-economic development, 2 environmental conservation, 3 preservation and promotion of culture, and 4 good governance. The nine domains of GNH are psychological well-being, health, time use, education, cultural diversity and resilience, good governance, community vitality, ecological diversity and resilience, and living standards. Each domain is composed of subjective survey-based and objective indicators. The domains weigh equally but the indicators within each domain differ by weight. Topic implementation of GNH in Bhutan The Gross National Happiness Commission is charged with implementing GNH in Bhutan. The GNH Commission is composed of the secretaries each of the ministries of the government, the Prime Minister, and the Secretary of the GNH Commission. The GNH Commission's tasks include conceiving and implementing the nation's five-year plan and promulgating policies. The GNH index is used to measure the happiness and well-being of Bhutan's population. A GNH policy screening tool and a GNH project screening tool is used by the GNH Commission to determine whether to pass policies or implement projects. The GNH screening tools used by the Bhutanese GNH Commission for anticipating the impact of policy initiatives upon the levels of GNH in Bhutan. In 2008, the first GNH survey was conducted. It was followed by a second one in 2010. The third nationwide survey was conducted in 2015. The GNH survey covers all 20 districts and results are reported for varying demographic factors such as gender, age, abode, and occupation. The first GNH surveys consisted of long questionnaires that polled the citizens about living conditions and religious behavior, including questions about the times a person prayed in a day and other karma indicators. It took several hours to complete one questionnaire. Later rounds of the GNH index were shortened, but the survey retained the religious behavioral indicators. The Bhutan GNH index was developed by the Center for Bhutan Studies with the help of the researchers from Oxford University researchers to help measure the progress of Bhutanese society. The index function was based on Alkire and Foster method of 2011. After the creation of the National GNH Index, the government used the metric to measure national progress and inform policy. The Bhutan GNH Index is considered to measure societal progress similarly to other models such as the Gross National Well Being of 2005, the OECD Better Life Index of 2011, and SPI Social Progress Index of 2013. 
One distinguishing feature of Bhutan GNH index from the other models is that the other models are designed for secular governments and do not include religious behavior measurement components. The data is used to compare the happiness between different groups of citizens, and changes over time. <laughs> Spread of GNH outside of Bhutan In Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, a shortened version of Bataan's GNH survey was used by the local government, local foundations and governmental agencies under the leadership of Martha and Michael Pennock to assess the population of Victoria. In the state of São Paulo, Brazil, Susan Andrews, through her organization Future Vision Ecological Park, used a version of Bataan's GNH at a community level in some cities. In Seattle, Washington, United States, a version of the GNH index was used by the Seattle Seattle City Council and Sustainable Seattle to assess the happiness and well-being of the Seattle area population. Other cities and areas in North America, including Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Creston, British Columbia, and the U.S. state of Vermont, also used a version of the GNH index. At the University of Oregon, United States, a behavioral model of GNH based on the use of positive and negative words in social network status updates was developed by Adam Kramer. In 2016, Thailand launched its own GNH center. The former king of Thailand, Bhamibal Adolyade, was a close friend of King Jigma Singhi Wangchuk, and conceived the similar philosophy of sufficiency economy. In the Philippines, the concept of GNH has been lauded by various personalities, notably Philippine Senator and UN Global Champion for Resilience Lauren Lagarda, and former Environment Minister Gina Lopez. Bills have been filed in the Philippine Senate and House of Representatives in support of gross national happiness in the Philippines. Additionally, Executive Director of Bataan's GNH Center, Dr. Samdu Chetri, has been invited by high level officials in the Philippines for a GNH forum. Many other cities and governments have undertaken efforts to measure happiness and well being, also termed beyond GDP, since the high level meeting in 2012, but have not used versions of Bataan's GNH index. Among these include the national governments of the United Kingdom's Office of National Statistics and the United Arab Emirates, and cities including Somerville, Massachusetts, United States, and Bristol, United Kingdom. Also a number of companies which are implementing sustainability practices in business have been inspired by GNH. Gross national happiness is also promoted in the United States by a non-profit organization, Gross National Happiness USA. Headquartered in Vermont, GNH USA is a 501c tax-exempt non-profit organization with a mission to increase personal happiness and the collective well-being by changing how the United States measure their progress and success. GNH USA was founded after Linda Wheatley of Montpelier, Vermont, attended the 2008 annual Gross National Happiness Research Conference in Tempu, Bhutan. Wheatley returned to Vermont determined to introduce the little-known GNH concepts to the general public in the U.S. after establishing the nonprofit in the spring of 2009. Representatives of the group attended the 5th International GNH Research Conference in Brazil in November 2009 and, in June 2010, hosted the first U.S.-based conference on gross national happiness and other alternative indicators, at Champlain College in Burlington, Vermont. In May 2012, GNH USA with co-sponsors organized Measure What Matters, a conference building a collaborative of data experts in Vermont. The state of Vermont's governor declared April 13, President Jefferson's birthday, pursuit of Happiness Day, and became the first state to pass legislation enabling development of alternative indicators and to assist in making policy. GNH USA collaborates with the Vermont Data Center to perform a periodic study of well-being in the state, as a pilot for other states and municipalities. The organization also collaborates closely with the Happiness Alliance in collecting online GNH data, based on the domain of happiness developed by Bhutan. In 2017, GNH USA initiated the process of establishing chapters in all 50 states to work with local governments and institutions on well-being initiatives, beginning with Wisconsin and North Carolina. The organization also promotes the UN-designated International Happiness Day March 20th as an opportunity to discuss the concepts of well-being with others at happiness dinners across the country. From August 25, 2012 to the present, GNH USA has been carrying out a nationwide action research project, the Happiness Walk, carried out by GNH USA board members and supporters. 
On the first leg, two GNHUSA board members walked 594 miles, from Vermont to Washington, D.C. The walk most recently completed a leg from Santa Monica, CA to the Bay Area, with a side trip to Hawaii, and resumed March 1, 2018, walking from Petaluma, CA to Seattle, Washington, on the 13th leg of the journey. Along the way, walkers perform audio and video interviews and collect survey responses, introducing the concept of GNH and amassing data that will assist them in tailoring the GNH domains and indicators to American culture. GNH USA also posts and promotes a charter for happiness which, as of May 7, 2018, has 469 signatories. Criticism. <coughs> 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 GNH has been described by critics as a propaganda tool used by the Bhutanese government to distract from ethnic cleansing and human rights abuses it has committed. Bhutanese Democratic Government began in 2008. Before that time, the ethnic cleansing in Bhutan of non Buddhist population of ethnic Nepalese of Hindu faith as a result of the GNH cultural preservation. The NGO Human Rights Watch documented the events. According to Human Rights Watch, over 100,000 or one-sixth of the population of Bhutan of Nepalese origin and Hindu faith were expelled from the country because they would not integrate with Bhutan's Buddhist culture." The Refugee Council of Australia stated that, "...it is extraordinary and shocking that a nation can get away with expelling one-sixth of its people and somehow keep its international reputation largely intact." The government of Bhutan should be known not for gross national happiness but for gross national hypocrisy." Some researchers state that Bhutan's GNH philosophy has evolved over the last decade through the contribution of Western and local scholars to a version that is more democratic and open. Therefore, probably, the more accurate historical reference is to mention the coining of the GNH phrase as a key event, but not the Bhutan GNH philosophy, because the philosophy as understood by Western scholars is different from the philosophy used by the king at the time. Other viewpoints are that GNH is a process of development and learning, rather than an objective norm or absolute end point. Bhutan aspires to enhance the happiness of its people and GNH serves as a measurement tool for realizing that aspiration. Other criticism focuses on the standard of living in Bhutan. In an article written in 2004 in The Economist magazine, the Himalayan kingdom of Bhutan is not in fact an idol in a fairy tale. It is home to perhaps 900,000 people most of whom live in grinding poverty. Other criticism of GNH cites Increasing levels of political corruption, the rapid spread of diseases such as AIDS and tuberculosis, gang violence, abuses against women and ethnic minorities, shortages in food, medicine, and economic woes. <laughs> See also